Hello, guildies, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated Minecraft Realm server. I'm just out here at the old village defense farm checking things out. This is the original village that we found, and as you can hear, we have one remaining villager. Now, I've just completed a little project over here. I believe the chicken coop was the last thing I did. I've also made a bamboo, correction, sugarcane farm. Those of you who have been watching my series for a while know that I like to refer to them as bamboo, because that's what it looks like. Oh, it didn't quite make it. But uh, eventually, I think I'm going to turn in some paper and get uh, this guy started on working up to his next level. And you know what? Since it's daylight out, this might be the best time. So let's go ahead and see if we can tunnel in to where he's at. And I want to go slowly and carefully so I don't... See, right away there's a mistake. So I don't accidentally get something that I don't want to get. So I put these two torches here. Why? I probably... No, what is going on? I guess that is the footer level of the farm then so let's go up here 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 yeah there's some cobblestone and here what's going on what did I I think I might have just used some wood blocks to kind of create the opening as it were or the hole what is going on? I don't even know where my guy is. So let me dig in here and see if I can find him. Oh, this is the roof. This is the roof. Okay, I get it now. So that's the roof. That means that one down from here is that. And this should be a window. It is a window. So, okay. We're going to leave that window there, I think. And we'll chop this guy. Yeah, can we reach him with something other than a deadly weapon? We can. He takes paper and turns it into emeralds. His first book is Feather Falling 4. So let's go ahead and get all the things we need to trade with him and make that happen. All right. Back in a second. Okay, we're over here at the Handy Dandy Bamboo Farm, a.k.a. a sugar cane farm, for those of you not in the know. And I'm just going to grab the two most filled chests, presumably, and let's turn those into paper. Do I need a chest to do that? Probably do. What is going on? I'm doing these little mini jumps all over the place. Do I have auto jump turned on? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, I did. Okay, done. Turning that off. Sorry about that, gang. Aww. Hello there, sir. Would you care for some paper? Would you like to read a little bit? Uh -huh. I have to put mending on these things and then trade uh -huh. with villager. Do not hit him with that. Okay, he's unlocked something else. What else uh -huh. is open? Uh -huh. It is unbreaking one. <laughs> wah wah and now for the next trade what could it possibly be I'm breaking one was that one this one is flame oh man <laughs> okay it's not terrible <laughs> it's better than nothing right <laughs> Uh, but, uh, I think the best one was probably this first one feather falling four obviously that's gonna go on some boots here in a time but uh yeah, let's see. Let's just lock him back up now that we've got him. Uh, let's re-secure our villager, not lock him back up, I beg your pardon. And uh, once he's safely stowed away for the duration of our village defense, then I will go work on the next project, which is me deciding what I want to do next. Okay, so what do I want to do next? Okay, over here we have the tree farm. It's a temporary one, but if I were to expand it out that way, I could build one of my handy-dandy tree farms that uh, you've seen on my other server before. And that would give me the opportunity to replace these with the uh, acacia wood anyway, so that it would look good from up here. It's going to look real cool in orange from up above. So that's one project I might do. Uh, let's go this way. Okay, just a little bit further over here is this piece of procedurally generated land that doesn't really work for me. This is only like one width wide, one column wide. So, and then it drops down a little bit, but this kind of comes up way too high. This could be a softer hill. So the next thing I might do might be a terraforming project, a landscaping project. Turn that into a softer hill. Kind of bring this down and make this a softer hill. And then I could have, because this drops pretty quickly. So if I make that a softer hill, I can kind of work away at pieces of this so that it comes up to this high point, and then this would be a natural place. So if this kind of all, you could see it as like a deposit that had run down parts of the mountain, you know, or slid down. So that might be a good thing to do. 
Let's go to something else. Okay, over here is a long-term project plan where I was going to have the the surrounding uh, gate. Gate? No, fence that comes around and goes across the top. I even cleared some of the path already. I'll go over there in a second. But then I was going to have it run into this section and have a two-waterfall section that kind of flows down into the well area there, or what will be a like a, a pond, I suppose. So that's uh, one of the possible projects I might have to do. Uh, over here, hold on, let me go over here and give you another look at that after I reset the sun. Did you just see that? <laughs> just minding my own business, on my way back to my house, and all of a sudden Minecraft decided to grow a tree in front of me. Oh boy. Alright, so from up here you can have a better look of where everything is back here. So there's this little area that's going to be like a hot spring, so I... And this little area that might be a hot spring, so I was thinking that this would make a beautiful, natural hot springs resort kind of thing, a la, you know, something mm -hmm. in the Kento region. I don't know. I'm just making up regions now. But uh, <laughs> some kind of, uh, you know, hot steam up bath area up here, and both of the springs would fill down or flow down through some sort of uh, waterway. And I don't know if I was doing anything to make it kind of... I don't know. I might do something with it, but down into that pond that we were talking about before. And up here is the path I've already started kind of clearing to have the wall visible from down there, but the more I think about it, the more I think that I might just forego the wall aspect for now and just do bits and pieces, and when it comes down to it, whenever Xyphus gets back or has the opportunity to come back and hang out with me, then we'll work on our wall project together. But uh, there's something else I was thinking about doing, so let me go down here and show you that. Okay, so the other project I was thinking about was maybe it's time to build also a slaughterhouse, uh, but probably not. I think my first thing is going to want to be to, I don't know why I fenced in some sheep at the beginning of this. Uh, I had no idea that <laughs> NPC mobs spawn so frequently here like this, so uh, <laughs> not aggressive animals or whatever you want to say. But yeah, there, I might have to go ahead and do this and dye them up and have a bunch of uh, blocks for colors and things because I might want to start building things here in the near future. And speaking of color, let me show you the plan to uh, go gather the dyes I'm going to need for that. As you might recall, this uh, spawn zone, the uh, spawn chunk, is actually right in the middle of a uh, flower biome. So what I'll probably do is... Uh, let me use a shovel here. Boop, boink, boink, probably make some kind of path that goes this way over towards the uh, towards the flyer flower biome, you know. Kind of come this way, clean up some things along the way here, and uh, go set something up up high, maybe that has. Let me come around this way. Uh, that has like a section of ground that I could rotate back and forth. If you've not seen a flower collector before, it's a pretty easy redstone contraption to build with, uh, you could do it with the something as small as, uh, well, basically one, two pistons, actually. But uh, if you want a pretty sizable one, you can make some pretty efficient ones that uh, push back over six squares for a one dispenser uh, s uh, setup, or you could do it with a multi-dispenser setup and do four of those. Um, what would I do over here? I might... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I might just kind of have it come down and go this way. And go over here. No, we'll figure something out. Now I have path blocks out in the middle of nowhere for no reason. <laughs> but this might uh, be the section. Well, I can't do it. It has to be over there because the flowers are over here. That's the flower biome. Is there another one? Yes, there's another flyer, flower biome over here. So maybe the trail kind of comes over that ridge and through here and uh, picks up again over here somewhere right <laughs> and goes by this little pond so people can have like a place to stop and take a break for the day and maybe over here is uh, what is going on over here it's like a natural ravine kind of thing maybe over here is something because look at that that's pretty blocky already I don't know, maybe I turn that into something. But I can go check out over here and make a path all the way over to this flower biome, I suppose. And this could be one of the areas where I could set up that contraption. I don't know, let's go up here and take a look real fast. 
Yeah, see, that's pretty pretty. A lot of it. On, go see what the site over the ocean is like. Look at all these flowers. My shovel broke. Oh, and pumpkins. Haha, <laughs> I have pumpkins already, but it's always nice to have more. Yeah, this looks pretty cool, right? Not too shabby. All right, and let me go exploring that way to see what else is there. So s that's another thing we might do, of a path to a flower garden out here somewhere. One of these hills, that one's probably closer, but let me see if I can find anything that way. There's an overwhelming urgency for me right now to kind of also explore a little bit and find another village <laughs> because we only have the one guy. So maybe that happens also. Do I bring this path down along the water? Is that a good idea? Come this way. All right, let's go see what we can find this way. Is there another village somewhere? Get up on... That's some high ground over there. Let me go over there and find some high ground. And get a good long look around. All right, so I'll cut over to there. Oh, I don't need to cut over there. Look what I just saw. Oh, yep. Okay, so now I've found another village. So this might have to be the next immediate plan. All right, I'm going to work my way over there and see what we got. Okay, Gildies, as you can see in the distance, that is our mountain that's behind us because, like, up here is that block that's floating. So just on the other side of that hill, actually, is our little town. So we're actually pretty close to this place, and they've got a lot of people here, and that is great. Let's see what we got up here. Let's see what they got for trades. A toolsmith, that might be a good way to get some uh, enchanted weaponry. A butcher. Don't really need that guy right now. What do we got here? A weaponsmith. You know, he could give us uh, a weapon as well. Butcher there. Somebody's inside there. Is there a door up here? There is. Got an interesting tower over here. It's a guy down there. This is an interesting well. Um, oh, it looks so unstable. Boink. <laughs> there. At least now it's... Now it doesn't look so scary to me. Um, <laughs> oh, there's a librarian in there, I think. Hold on, let's go in here. Nope. Excuse me, sir. Another butcher. So this is... A oh, come on. A bunch of butchers. And toolsmiths. Yep. Okay. Let's see what's down over here. What do you got here? Probably a farmer of some sort. A fisherman there. Fisherman. Is this guy eligible for conversation? Shepherd. Oh, okay. Shepherds are pretty cool. Okay. All right. This is nice. I think I might have to set up a quick portal, which means gathering some obsidian. Okay. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do real fast. Be right back. Okay, Guildies, I'm here in my redstone testing world that I created, and I've decided I've got about 74 chunks of obsidian. If I use all of them, I can make two portals that are 9x9, nine nine, and or they're 10x10, 10 10, or 11x11 11 11 actually, but there's 9 blocks here, and then gap, and then 9 blocks here. So the biggest, most efficient way I could do it would be to build this, and I can feel the sun setting, so let me go ahead and turn that to, I don't know... early morning, right? Almost noon, I guess. <laughs> so what's the purpose of doing this, you might ask? Well, I don't want to just make a portal that's like so small that whatever. This is a little big, so I probably won't go with this big of a size, actually. What I'll probably do is something more along the lines of this, and then... Well, let's see here. Bring it up like that. Probably something more lines along the lines of this, and then kind of decorate it however I'm going to decorate it so that it kind of has uh, a look that something is going on. Or I could put more... Actually, that might work better. Have some obsidian come like this, and some obsidian come like this, right? And now you can kind of see how it's kind of making it a little bit more circular in appearance from here, right? So... Maybe just a little bit bigger than that, and then do some 
decorative bits around the edge that kind of make it look like something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I think I want to do something like that. And what I'll end up having is the big portion of the ring in the background. Actually, it probably does have to be about this big. Can be in the background, and I can have whatever I want in front of it. So maybe some black wool in front of it to kind of make it look like it's in the distance or something. I don't know. Let me see. Let me experiment a little bit more, and then I'll come back. All right, guildies, I've gotten my project built to this point in my testing world. It's just uh, a few simple pieces, mostly smooth sandstone, I think, because I want it to be kind of fresh, but there's some broken down cobble, and looking at it, I actually see that it's not uh, in random spots so much, or it was, but look at that, it looks ordered. And then down here I have this as well. This won't be oak, it'll be birch. And I believe I have some birch trees back at the old homestead, so I'll be able to do that. All of this can be built. And this in the back is just a wool with the white wool, black wool that gives it that look. Let me get far enough away so we don't have to put up with the porter. But this is what I'm thinking about building. And I'm thinking about building this more so in the nether. And that will, you know, necessitate me building some type of structure to house it. So I might have to do something like that or build it into the wall of uh, nether ward or something. That might be kind of cool. But in this fashion, I will know which village I'm going to. One, that it's the first village that I discovered from the other village where I started, which will be a zero. And uh, it'll have this kind of look. So I'll know that there's mostly a desert nearby and some wood, but uh, mostly desert. And then for my village, it'll be probably, you know, acacia wood logs and uh, and stone bricks and things like that. And it'll have the number zero, as I said. But I think that'll look pretty good. So that might be what I do next. I don't know. This is the vote. You tell me. This is the Dexterum Tunnelers vote. Guys, if you want to see this built next, go ahead and vote for this. If you want to see, like, the uh, hot springs on top of the hill, do that, vote it next, uh, vote for that to be next. And if you want to see me build another tree farm, by all means, uh, I'd be happy to do that if that's what you want, or the flower farm. There could be any number of things. Look back through the video and decide what you think would be best to do next, and go ahead and leave a comment below. I'd be happy to start building on that. Until next time, however, thank you very much for watching. I sure do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and like to see more like it, then by all means subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more coming like this very, very soon. Until that time, however, this is JC saying thank you very much.